Yes. We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for the Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z. All eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. It is a Ryan Report right here on the People Station, V103, brought to you by your local Metro Kia dealer. Go to ATLKia.com to discover the full lineup of Kia's high-quality, stylish, and dependable vehicles. Um, Diddy's private chef was depending on a job, but now, according to TMZ, uh, Cindy Rueda says that she was regularly summoned to serve Diddy and his guests while they engaged or immediately following sexual activity. Oh! She also says on at least one such occasion, Uh-oh. Diddy was still naked when she entered the room and Uh-oh. asked, do you like what you see? Yummy. Take, take that, that, take that, take, take, that, take, take that. that. Was it Diddy or Puffy or P. Diddy? All of them. <laughs> she says another time, one of his buddies approached her in the kitchen while he was still naked and asked her to check out his stuff. Oh. She says she complained about the sexual harassment to one of Diddy's assistants, and as a result, she was set up by another staffer to make it look like she stole a watch. According to her lawsuit, she was fired with a string attached. If you sign this exit agreement waiving all rights to sue, you won't be prosecuted. She says she refused to mm-hmm. sign it and was terminated a year ago. She is suing for wrongful termination sexual harassment, and violation of whistleblower protection. Mm. Now, Diddy's rep tells TMZ this is a frivolous lawsuit by a disgruntled ex-employee <laughs> who was fired for cause. The problem with all of this is if this case goes to being able for Diddy to be deposed, right? they can ask him all kinds of questions. And we've seen depositions before where you start asking people about mm-hmm. their sexual activities, mm-hmm. it could be a problem. Mm. So she didn't want to see Diddy Goods. No, she didn't oh. want to see the bad boy. She didn't. She did not. She didn't want to take that. What's wrong with her? I don't know. <laughs> Good luck. That's a million dollar. I think that this is. I think that's gonna be a million dollar <laughs> go away case. That's you that's know. Be. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In other entertainment <laughs> news, there's a guy by the name of Michael Lissick <laughs> who has filed an official grievance with the State Bar of Georgia saying that uh, Ms. Park's behavior on Real Housewives mm-hmm. was reprehensible, and he wants her to be disbarred. <gasps> Here Whoa. is Michael Lissick. Two things. One, Ms. Park's conduct by falsely accusing Candy and Todd of rape, kidnapping, and drugs is beyond the pale. And the second is it exemplifies what's wrong with the entire Real Housewives franchise, which is when I was young, schadenfreude was a forbidden emotion. And we now have a network that seems to be devoted to the idea that it's okay to take delight in other people's misery. Uh, To me, it is fairly obvious that she's in violation of rules 4.1 one and 4.4 of the Georgia standards of professional conduct. She has spread deliberately false information about somebody in an effort just to hurt them. He was the <sighs> former director of Smith Barney uh, and is not going away. And last but not least, if you uh, remember Big Black, you know, from Robin Big, mm-hmm. uh, Big Black has died at the age of 45. He died uh, yesterday morning, no official cause of mm. death. Of course, uh, you know, Big Black was Rob uh, Deerdeck's uh, bodyguard, his best friend. And then Rob had a baby and they kind of canceled the show. But the show was very popular on MTV. Um, they kind of fell out, but mm. got back together. So, oh, you know, sorry to hear everybody that. who remembers that show, they, yeah. they, they really like were. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I know, agree. Great friends. So, mm-hmm. yeah, um, Big Black dead at the age of 45. All right. That is your rhyme report right here on the People Station. We're coming up at 745. Your chance to play Hood Times. If you want to take your mama to see Frankie Beverly and Mays and some other special guests and then get her a $50 gift card from Pro Flowers, I got it. We got it. You got it? You got it. V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know, you know. The Ryan Report. The Ryan Report. V103.